guys, it's Carrie, your friendly local teen librarian, coming to you from the Rapid City Public Library with another virtual craft afternoon. And this week, we're going to be utilizing our summer reading theme, which is Imagine Your Story, so lots of fantasy and fairy tales. And we're going to be doing Dragon Eyes and a no so bag to hold them. So let's take a look and see what you got in your bags this week. So in your bags this week, you would have gotten a set of directions. You would have gotten a felt circle. Mine looks kind of like the tortilla here. A little bit of ribbon. A couple of these glass flat bottomed, I'm not even sure really what you call them, um, glass piece. And then three different permanent markers. Definitely a black one and then a metallic one that was either gold or silver or bronze and then a metallic one that was some type of color. I think blue, green, and purple all went home. We're gonna be using scissors, so I've got a pair of those. So following through these instructions, we're gonna start with the glass pieces and then we'll move on to the bag. And the first thing we're gonna do is make sure we know which side has the flat bottom. And I have made mine go up, so you can tell that the rolly part is kind of on the bottom. We're gonna take our black marker and we're gonna draw basically like a cat eye shape, which is gonna be kind of a moon. And then we're gonna have one go in the other direction. And the cool thing about these is you can not really have to wait for them to dry and go right over them again. And each time that you do, they're gonna get darker and darker. So make sure that that cat eye piece in the middle is nice and black. And the reason that we want that is because really the way you look at these is from this other side, which has a little bit of a magnifying glass effect. So you'll notice that right here, I'm a little short of the bottom edge and that's okay because when you flip it over, it still looks like it goes all the way up and down that eye. Now, if you're feeling super creative, you don't have to do this shape. You can do a regular pupil. You could go for like, if you've ever looked at goat's eyes, they have square pupils, which I always thought was kind of creepy, but might look really cool on one of these. You could keep that half moon shape if you wanted to, instead of bowing it out on the other side. It's kind of up to you how you want to do these. But like I said, the most important thing is to go over and over until they are nice and dark. And the way to see that is to check it from the other side. It looks good. Now there are a bunch of different ways you can do this next bit. Um, so I'm going to illustrate a couple of them. One of them, we can add dots. So I'm gonna do three on each side, kind of following that same curve of the eye. You can do lines. So I'm gonna kind of do that same thing, following the shape of the pupil. I'm gonna put three lines on either side. I'm gonna leave one of them empty with a black marker and I'll show you why. And this one, I'm gonna do an outside ring like that. Okay, so now I am done with my black marker. And this next bit is kind of up to you. If you like more of the colored metallic or you like more of the actual metallic, one thing you can do is you can go in and whatever embellishment you put around the pupil, you can circle around and the metallic is kind of the same as the black marker but you may have to go over it more than once so you can kind of see where my my silver circles are if I get the glare on there right. Okay. 
And then the next one I think I'm gonna do is I just wanna do a silver ring around the pupil on this one. So just like our eyes have a colored ring around our pupil, Nice silver there. And this one, eh, I'm gonna put the silver on the outside. And then the one with the lines, mm, I'm just gonna keep the way that it is. And again, this is me just thinking what I think would look cool. You guys should all do your own thing of what you think would look cool. So on this one, take that purple metallic. And just like we have the white part of our eyes, I'm gonna make this one purple. Make sure I get all the way around. This one, I'm gonna make the inner part purple. And if you have different colored permanent markers, you can sure use them. They don't have to be metallic. Um, and this one, I'll go kind of in between and around the silver circles that I made. And again, that last one, I think I'm just gonna leave, I kinda like the way it looks with just the black on there. And what you get from the other side is again, sort of that magnified look all the different colors. I like that one with the purple and the black. And then, like I said, I'm gonna keep that one the same. So those are my dragon eye shapes. And again, you can make them in whatever shape you want. But here are some examples, some ways to do it. Switch over to your bag. Um, you may notice that the edge of yours has some marks where I cut them out. You can trim those off, you can leave them on. The felt that I picked is kind of multicolored, sort of mottled, and I thought that that looked the closest to leather. So that is why I picked, and you guys all have different colors, but still the same kind of strange patterning. Um, and what we're gonna do, and I will mark mine off so you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about as I do it. You don't have to if you don't want to. But we know that we want eight marks around the felt. So there's one at the top, one at the bottom, both of the sides, and then in between. So we've got eight marks. And I want you guys to notice, I didn't go all the way to the edge, and that's because I'm gonna cut here and here. So I'm gonna put a straight cut mark on both sides of that. And I think the easiest way to do that is to fold where my mark is. So my mark is kind of in the middle of that fold and cut, and I'm actually gonna cut a little wider than that. So what you end up with is a piece like this that you can slide your ribbon through. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And I want those to be on the inside, so I'm gonna take one edge of my, my ribbon, and I know that I want it to be where it's gonna draw and tie on the outside. So I'm gonna start from the bottom side, and I'm gonna feed that ribbon through, so it looks like this. And I'm gonna do that Yeah, I'm doing that for each one of these. So we're gonna feed through. A 
looks a little strange, but kind of the voila moment. Ta-da moment, maybe. Um, and you, I might, that one's a little slim, so I'm just gonna cut it a little deeper. And just threading it through. A couple more here. Last one. Okay. I want the edges to be pretty even. So both of those are the same length, close to. Turn it over. I'm gonna put my hard-earned collection of dra dragon's eyes in the middle there. And you should be able to cinch these edges Pull out some of them. Tie it, knot, bow, whatever you want. And there you have your drawstring bag. No sewing, super easy, packs up quick, just like that. And then if you needed to show them off you just kind of pull them and then you can cinch that closed again and i just thought it was kind of a cool thing like it looks like spell ingredients or you know if you've ever done dungeons and dragons and spell components but they could be card markers for different games too just kind of a fun but easy craft so there you are dragon eyes Next week, we're gonna be doing soot sprites from the My Neighbor Totoro and Spirited Away movies. They're gonna be kind of a pin with little stars. Um, so those will be available to pick up starting this next Sunday morning. And then the video will go up the following Saturday. Just another reminder, if you're interested in figuring out something to read for this summer, get those bookmarks filled out for the summer reading program. You can check out our Instagram page at RCPL Teens, and there are a lot of videos that are gonna have different books on a theme that you might be interested in checking out this summer. So thanks for joining us, hope to see you next time. Bye guys.